when you're favored by God, you're also favored by the devil. He's coming for you too. <laughs> so you just gotta be strong and stay on the right side. Whose side you gonna go on? He's gonna give you power too. He's gonna get in your head too, but it's whose side you gonna stay with. You stay with who brought you here. Mm. You stay. You go home with the guy that brought you to the dance. Mm. You know? You have to be disciplined. Disciplined is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Just remember, God loves you, so does he. He's after you too. It's a war. You gotta really believe that. If you don't believe it, you'll find out. You need faith, because you're not smarter than Satan, brother. I know you may think you ain't smarter than Satan. You need faith. <laughs> He's faith, bro. He's good. He knows your weakness. He knows you before you were existing. You can't talk slick to him. Yeah, but how he gives you all your thoughts probably sometimes. Alrighty, family. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Back at it again with another exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Wa, Kodash, Raka, giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barakathom to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth, starting from the elders on down to the youth, those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith. Of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the Malak, and as we always love to make it known, hey, it's all about the kingdom. So, to get into this family, you know, uh, to further, you know, uh, the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the glory of the Heavenly Father in the name of his, his only begotten Son, to further the glory that is going to be a part of that body take into remembrance that the glory can only be uh, manifested due to your diligence and your level of obedience when it comes down to being a willing vessel alright a willing vessel a willing vessel why because that falls in the alignment of the Lord ordering your steps you see ordering your steps so I'm going to come from the book of Job chapter 33 and verse 26 and it states he shall pray unto God right and he will be favorable unto him mm. and he shall see his face with joy with what? with joy with what? with joy for he will render unto man his righteousness. Now before anybody be like, well, you know, in the book of Job, you know, this was around the time, man, you know, uh, uh, with the friends and how he was and when it came down to this and came, listen, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. As you can see what is written. The point in this is, is growing as you are growing in your relationship with the Most High, right? With Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, as you are growing in your relationship with Him, you're going to begin to bear witness what the joy of the Lord is truly about. And remember, our Lord had made it known plenty clear, He gives us a peace, but not of this world. Why? Why? If y'all can see from the beginning, you know, of this video, and, and you hearing uh, Tyson, all right, Mike Tyson when he was talking, and he says something in there, you know, that really stands out. It's making it known as much as the, the, um, the, the Lord's eyes are resting on you, right? Hashitan, Satan's eyes is resting on you too. Mm -hmm. As much as the things that are of the spirit, right, that is of the goodness of the Lord is there, you also have the things that are unclean that will motivate you to be carnally minded. So it gets to a point in thinking in this day, 
right? Am I going to be a willing vessel for the Lord? For Yahweh Bashimi Awashah? For the Father God in the name of His only begotten Son? Or am I going to make it within myself to be a willing vessel for Satan, for Hashatan? Right? Am I going to be carnally high? Or am I going to be spiritually high? I'm going to say that again. Am I going to be carnally high? Or am I going to be spiritually high? Because one is going to lead you down the path of salvation. While the other one is going to lead you down the path of damnation. You see what I'm saying? And these key points and what is being brought out are extremely important. So I'm going to read this scripture one more time. In Job chapter 33 and verse 26, he said, He shall pray unto God and he will be favorable unto him. See, these things wouldn't be said. It's not being said just to be said. It's said because it's coming from a place of experience. And when you got experience at, you do have a form of wisdom. Because it is of what? Knowledge and understanding. You see what I'm saying? Knowledge and understanding. So when you communing with the Lord, even when you're going through certain things, you know because of where the Lord stands at with you and how merciful and how compassionate he really is you know when you cry out unto him he shall hearken unto you if you are coming from a pure place a pure place you see what I'm saying because you coming from a pure place is reflecting his image and his likeness you're, 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 you're a willing vessel for righteousness. Just like you got some who are willing vessels for, uh, 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 of holiness. But nevertheless, they're of one body. Reflecting the things that are not just within the heavenlies, but beyond the heavens. And why do I say that? It's because the Father, He Himself, is outside of the heavenlies and what is of the earth. He gave... Yahweh Shah the, the authority and power to reign over the things that are within the heavens and within the earth. Meaning the things that are not seen and the things that are seen. You see? And this is the truth. And why am I saying these things? Because if you end up being carnally high, the enemy slowly but surely will end up destroying you. And trust me, I see these things. Take a look at this video. See, and these things that I, I, I've grown up to see, you know what I'm saying? And um, and that was something that I bear witness to. You know what I mean? This is like days ago, but this is like that's like an everyday thing. But th that's that's our people. You see what I'm saying? In those conditions, why? Because they're spiritually starving. They're spiritually vexed. There's a lot of things. That are that are setting set, set up in place amongst our people. You know what I'm saying? Who are who are in these lowly type of conditions? Some who are in this truth are like that spiritually, and they're trying to cover it up. You know what I'm saying? With with uh, garments that lines up to what is in the laws, like putting on the fringes and all that. Now there's nothing wrong with that, right? But it can end up being a problem if you're not able to perceive things according to what the Lord has given unto us and what is what is of importance. And I'm speaking from a level of what is expedient because you got the principalities and the darker forces and the spiritual wickedness, the things that are in high places that are in opposition to the kingdom of God that is within you. So I want Akim and Agwathium to gain a better perspective on this. From an aspect of, yo, know, stay up and stay prayed up. Stay prayed up. This is an inner man thing. This ain't an exterior man thing. The exterior, it, 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 it ain't, it, it, it can't really, really show too much of what is inward. Without, you know what I'm saying, without the Lord. 
You see what I'm saying? Allowing. But for the most part, what is inwardly is naturally going to manifest exteriorly. Rather is of dark or rather is of light. The point is, hey, are you going to be carnally high? Or are you going to be spiritually high? Because trust and believe, just like what Tyson has said in the video, he made it on plain and clear. You know, which we do know. Satan knows what you like to. All we do is read Matthew chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And that's not just periods of time. No, that's every season. Rather it seems like it's good or rather it seems like it's bad. But for the most part, I love y'all. Stay up and stay blessed. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah.